Hey everybody, this is Ryan, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And I've been a little busy. You'll see what's going on. Um, so, Cole, Cole, you are, you are not the future. You are the past. Boo! Boo, Cole! You are terrible. So, um, yeah, so I've been busy. I've been making stuff. Oh, wait, no, wait, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, okay. I'm going to go back and do this really fast. Just because I had I had all this stuff ordered. I had all of it planned out in my head. Hey, Ryan, we're going to have a structured episode, and you're going to do this, and then you're going to do this, and it's going to make so much sense. And then I'm already throwing that whole plan out the window. Um, we are going to come over here, and so we have a recipe to make computers. And this is a different recipe than the, than the normal one. And the reason this uh, this uh, recipe intrigues me is because I can make computers down there. I don't even have to come up here to my main base. Let's take a look at what a computer normally takes. It normally takes, yeah, screws. Yeah, the horrible, horrible screws. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It also takes uh, the computer chips. The, or the, the circuit boards. You sound like a complete idiot. It also takes the, the circuit boards. Um, and so this, this new recipe doesn't, uh, which is, is pretty cool. I actually have a pretty good way to make circuit boards right now, so that's not a huge deal to me, but um, this recipe is pretty damn nice because it's just it's fuel, it's copper, and it's quick wire, and I have all of that down below. Um, so what did I need? I came up here so I could do it. I need I need rubber and I need wire. It was a long dramatic pause. Okay, I got all the pieces and let's just do this really quickly. Put that in, put that in, put that in, and what else did it need? Quick wire? Yeah. Okay. Boom. All right. And so, really, there was no reason to do that right now. I mean, I, I, I could have done that at, at really any time. So, so well done. Well done, Ryan. Okay. And so, now, what I'm going to do is we are going to go to the future of power. So you guys might remember last time I found a little tiny bit of um, oil and so I set up a thing. So here is where the oil comes in. It comes in on the truck and it goes there and right now these guys are just making plastic. That's all they're doing, just making plastic non-stop. And so I did a whole thing with my truck. So we're gonna drive out here and show you the path, at least the path to get out there, and uh, then I'll let the truck go on its merry way. Um, you can see the little arrows, the little arrows is its path, and so I did a whole thing. Because if I ever want to have two trucks going at the same time, that path is way too damn narrow to have two trucks driving on it at the same time. They will just constantly smash into each other, and so it's a... It's a little dicey here. It's a little dicey. You got to be a little careful because, well, I mean, it'll fall. <laughs> and I don't think you get the truck back. Um, I'm pretty sure I will respawn, but I don't think the truck will. So we got to be a little careful. But it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It goes along the water. It's so nice. It's such a nice, peaceful drive. But as of right now, I see no reason to have more than one truck running. Uh, you know, that can very easily change. This game likes to uh, ramp up the resources pretty quickly. So it is very possible that uh, that will change. But as of right now, we're good with just one. 
And it's a little bit of a drive out here. This took me just a little while to make. Just a little while. Not, not, not hours, but maybe. And so coming up on the other truck stop. So what we're going to do is I am going to make some fuel generators. I actually already have, I think, Two. I think there are two fuel generators running right now. And we are going to add, hopefully, two more. Hopefully, I brought enough stuff to add two more. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if that actually happened. So now I'm going to turn autopilot back on, get out of the truck, and the truck will continue on its path of delivering fuel. Now, why have I decided to go all in on, on fuel, on oil generators, and give up on my massive coal plant? Because one fuel generator is three coal power plants. Yeah, that's a big difference. And those coal power plants are just huge, and obviously they did that on purpose. They wanted them to take up a lot of space. They wanted it to kind of bug you just a little bit. Just kind of get under your skin just a little bit that it takes up so much space. And um, it worked. So, yeah. So that's where that is. Um, and this is what I got going on. So here are my, uh, my generators. And why, why aren't you... Why aren't you doing anything? Oh, I set you up to uh, to be made. Or no, no, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? What's going on? Okay, I got what I did. I got it now. So, um, right now I have one one guy producing fuel and he is pumping to two generators. And he's doing fine. Everybody's doing fine. There's plenty of oil. We're good. So, um, I'm going to use this guy to do two more. And it looks like I'm going to have to reposition everything. Alright, so I'm going to have to build... Um, a thing, the thing I just tore down, which I totally know what it's called. It's called an oil refinery. I knew the whole time. Don't worry about it. Okay. So a little tight on space. It's not going to look the best, but you know what? How often do my things actually look good? The, an the answer is never. They never look good. All right, and now the big test. Did I actually bring enough stuff? And also, I want to take a quick look at... I am producing 800 watts of power... We're going to do one there. And this isn't going to look the best. But I guess I'll do one. I'll do one over here. Because I can't have one when you first run in the door. That's stupid. You can build these guys out on the water a little bit. Uh, none of mine did, but you can. Just a little bit. I don't think you can just... I don't know if you can just plop them down in the middle of the water. I would think you can't. Let's find out for science. Um, you totally can. You can just put it wherever you want, it looks like. <laughs> just wherever you want. Just plop it down. No big deal. Okay, and so now we jumped up to 1,100 watts of power, which is quite the jump. 
And so now come the big questions. The big questions that everybody wants to know the answer to is, can I get three coming out of one of these? That is the million dollar question. Can it happen? Did I bring enough stuff to do it? Oh, I learned math. Look out, everybody. Ryan learned how to add numbers, <laughs> subtract numbers, add numbers. Ryan learned how to math. <laughs> But of course the question is, is can it support all three at the same time? And it's actually pretty easy to find out. So right now it's making 37.5. And we're using one every five seconds. So, if you know how to math, you'll know the answer. From my point of view, it looks like we can. So I think we're good. So it can support three. Um, the other side of that, of course, is can the refinery support this many? You know, can it make enough oil to keep up? That's obviously a big part of this. But, um, I don't think I have enough stuff to build more, so... I don't. So, that's where we're gonna leave it. But, the fact that I have just added um the equivalent of 15 coal power plants that's a pretty big deal and of course this is like completely like untapped potential right now because i mean look, look at these guys these guys are just sitting here not doing anything because there's so much excess fuel like i have one of these things with the sole purpose of it, it's just going to fuel the, the truck when it comes in. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's like 20 fuel every five minutes or whatever it takes for that truck to come in. I could obviously have that break off to support uh, power plants. And then this guy is completely untouched. He's not doing anything. So, um, uh, there's a little bit of untapped potential going on. Just a little bit. But for now, that's all I got going. So we're going to ride the conveyor belt back to civilization. Oh, oh my god, I almost landed on it. I almost landed on it. It would have been on YouTube. Oh my god, I would have had so many views. So much potential. Gone. Completely wasted. Is my truck, is my truck almost back? Oh my gosh. Exactly as we rehearsed it. The truck is back perfectly in time. Now the trick is, is to not get run over by the truck as it leaves. Okay, and so the, the path back is uh, completely standard. You guys have, uh, you guys saw it, I think, when I was coming out here. Assuming I didn't cut it out of the video. But there's only one new thing that was added on the path back. And I'll show that right now. It's a ramp! Oh, I built a ramp! That's it. That, that's the only thing I added. I went a little ramp crazy. Once I kind of... Remembered slash discovered that they were a thing. I may have made a few ramps. A couple. A, a lot. I made a lot of ramps. There's one of the ramps now. There's an unnecessary arch in my conveyor belt. When I was originally going to have the trucks go under it. And then I was like, no. Build a ramp.
Have I guys told you how great ramps are? Would you guys be interested in a 45 minute TED talk on how great ramps are? Look, here's a small ramp. They don't all have to be big. There can be small ramps too. Yeah. I bet you didn't see that coming, did you? If this truck's a rockin', it's probably bugged. <laughs> yeah, no, we're still we're bugged. Away you go! Okay, so now the truck's doing its thing. We are swimming in delicious oil power now. Boo, Cole! Boo, nobody likes you. Go home, Cole. You're big. You're big, ugly power plants all in a straight line. And got me to this point of the game. Boo! With all your conveyor belts and your... Your... Tall, impressive buildings. Okay. So, oh, I also have this computer. So, oh, oh, this is the computer I just did? I'm very confused. I had a whole thing about computers. Just not very long. Or, okay, okay. I was stupid earlier. I was stupid. Yeah, okay. So here's here's the whole thing. I remember it now. I remember it. It all it all made sense earlier when I planned this out. And then I started the video and I was like, "Hey, remember when you planned everything out so you don't look stupid and you you have a plan of when to say what things?" Yeah, forget it. Forget all of that. Just talk like an idiot for a really long time and then and then we'll just fix it later. We'll fix it later. Nobody'll notice. It'll be fine. It just we'll just fix it. Yeah. So, no, I was I was stupid earlier. So, that was I was talking about the recipe to to unlock the the computer. But with all that said, I can still make this computer over there because I have oil, I have quick wire, and I have this which is like the the perfect combination of stuff. This uh, quick wire circuit board. I got this one, but I need regular wire. Uh, regular wire and rubber, which is a fine circuit board. But this is this is my chosen circuit board. This is the circuit board of choice because I have so much quick wire coming in. I have so much plastic coming in. And then all I have to... So that makes the, the circuit boards... Add another thing, a quick wire, because quick wire is not getting used for anything else right now. And then add rubber, because once again, I have so much fuel right now. Um, and I can very easily get uh, another truck going over there. But I don't even know if it's going to be necessary. If only there was a mathematical equation that would tell me. Oh, but there's not. Curse you, game! So I'm gonna need an assembler making plastic and quick wire. I feel like for now I should just convert one of these to... No. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just, whatever you do, don't tell anybody what you're thinking. Just think of something in your head and then say the conclusion out loud. That's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not even partial thoughts. Don't give them any of the thought. Just give them the conclusion. Yeah. I don't think anybody else is doing that on YouTube. No. No, this is this is original. <laughs> you, you unlocked it. You unlocked the secret of YouTube. Okay. Alright, so... I really should have written down my plan because I don't know what it was. I, I totally forgot. All right, so I am going to need two things. I'm going to need an assembler and a manufacturer. And for a manufacturer, I'm actually going to need three computers. 
And I have um, zero computers. I don't think I've made a single computer. And so this is definitely the easy part. The heavy uh, modular frames is not going to be easy, be easy. I don't have some beautiful recipe that's just going to magically work out and let me make everything. Nope. I got to do that the, the hard way. But we will cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, I don't quite know the layout of everything here. I don't have... I don't have that much room. I got a little bit of room over there. I can kind of direct stuff that way. And that would be good because then the output uh, will be the computers and then they'll go that way anyway. Ryan, you're blowing it. You're telling people your thoughts. Remember, that's not far enough out. You got to keep your thoughts secret and only tell them the conclusion. I don't know if this can pull this off. It can! Beautiful! So that needs 80 quick wire per minute. Right now we are only making 60. Okay, so now that's making enough. And how much plastic did you need? You need 30 plastic per minute. So we're making plenty of plastic. All right, so circuits covered. We are good there. Now we're going to make the manufacturer. We're gonna make it all the way over here. Tell it to make um, alternate computers. We need rubber, quick wire. Hey Mothra, do you ever get tired of flying in a circle? It's just kind of your thing to fly in a circle. You can tell me if you get tired. It's okay. I'm not going to judge you. I would... Oh, th there's my, uh, my copper... My copper plant It's making wires. That was a longer jump than I thought it was. Still didn't hurt me, though. Mothra, you can tell me if you're tired of flying in that circle. I never got that stupid slug. Ugh, you stupid slug. You upset me. <laughs> Just because I never took the time to bring you down. All right. And once this guy gets hooked up, we will find that we are not producing things fast enough to make computers. All right, so how many we need? We need 105 quick wire per minute. All right. So, quick wire we are we are currently making 60, so we would need two of these guys. Which we can do. Put a merger down. Okay, so we're good on quick wire. Now we need uh, just over nine circuit boards per minute. We are not doing that. So, you know what? We're just going to put in a power cell. Power cell should get me there. All right, got it up to 11. So now we're good on that. And then we need rubber, 48 rubber 45 rubber per minute. 45 rubber per minute. And we are making a grand total of 30. Damn it. 
So I gotta use another power cell. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to use power cells. The reason I say damn it is because when you overclock something, um, I think I explained this in a previous video, you use substantially more power. It's, so I, I boosted that by 50%, right? You would think, okay, if you boost production by 50%, you would use 50% more power, but you don't. You, it, it's, I, I forget the equation right now, so um, I'm really dropping the ball on my duties as a YouTuber, which I, I don't know. I don't know what duties those are, but if, if they are there, I am dropping the ball big time. So anyway, uh, that, that's why I say damn. It's not, even, it's not really that big of a deal to even use a power slug. I mean, who cares, right? They are everywhere. They're all over the world. So that's not a big deal. Whatever. Making computers fully automated. Here comes the fuel truck. I was pretty interested in seeing how much fuel I'm using. Um, but it looks like it's going to get more than filled up every time. Even though I, I kind of fudged the numbers because I dropped some fuel off they had in my inventory. But there should be no issues. Um, assuming the truck leaves. Okay. Are you like on strike? I mean, come on. What's, what's the deal? Let's get moving. So, yeah. So, we're good there. So, this is now a fully automated system. And there should be no pause in making... There should be a surplus for everything. Cool. That is currently one of the end game materials is computers. Well, I guess it... I, is it technic... I guess the supercomputer would be considered the end game material right now, right? Like, is the supercomputer the, the ultimate final material? Because I imagine it takes computers All right, and um, to get this pumping in here, I am going to finally make my first uh, level two storage container. Uh, really, all it is is it's it's two regular storage containers. It's just twice as big. It is twice the space, twice the inventory space, but it doesn't use twice the space on the screen. I love, I love using conveyors to get around. It's so great. So yeah, getting supercomputers is going to be a little complicated. Well, actually, it might not be. If I have enough ore coming in, it might not be. Yeah, if I have enough ore to support um, another smelter over here, then I can do do whatever I need to do. Okay, I can probably figure it out. It'll probably work out. It'll be fine. You know, stop stop worrying, guys. You guys worry so much. Just relax and enjoy the peaceful music. Just enjoy the efficiency. Enjoy the efficiency that I actually did something right for once. You know? I didn't make a fool out of myself this time. It just... We just got beautiful efficiency. Just enjoy it. And so the next thing I want to make are heavy frames. And this is going to be an issue. It's going to be a thing. The regular recipe uses screws. Screws can go die in a fire. I never want to use them again. It's just, it's too hard to make screws fast enough. That's the thing. It's too hard. No matter what you do, you don't make them fast enough. So, no. Screws can go die in a fire. 
And we're going to do this one. So, yeah. Heavy frames are going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. I'm going to have to figure it out. And um, to fill the time, I might uh, double all my storage containers to level 2. Because I can. Alright, guys. That is going to do it for another episode of Satisfactory. And I, I sincerely hope you were satisfactory fact factor I I <laughs> satis satisfied ah <laughs> uh, we're going to cut that out it's trying to do some sort of clever word with satisfactory and satisfied <laughs> I couldn't do it I just I couldn't I couldn't make it happen I gave it my best shot, guys, and I couldn't make it happen. All right, guys, that is going to do it, though. Um, but enjoy this. Enjoy this. Peak, beautiful, wonderful efficiency. It doesn't get better than this, guys. This is 100% raw efficiency. Mmm. Mmm. No bottlenecks. No issues. Just efficiency <laughs> stop being weird stop stop being so weird guys you're really you're freaking everybody out right now just just stop all right guys that is gonna do it for this episode thank you so much for watching everybody and until next time see you guys